फर्स्ट इज कैपिटलिस्ट इकोनॉमी वॉट इज अ कैपिटलिस्ट इकोनॉमी नाउ एज द वर्ल्ड गोज कैपिटलिस्ट एंड इकोनॉमी गवर्न बाय कैपिटलिस्ट द पर्सन हु हैव कैपिटल इन देयर हैंड्स नॉट ओनली द कैपिटल द अदर फैक्टर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एज वेल लैंड लेबर एंड एंटरप्राइज they can own they can buy they can sell all the factors of production all the properties whatever properties they want to buy they can own they can buy and whatever properties they want to sell they can sell they can start any business which is profitable to them so let's see what are the features of a capitalist economy capitalist economy is always profit oriented profit motive is the driving force of a capitalist economy the private individuals who own the factor of factors of production produce those goods which give them a better yield which give them more profit goods which may be good for the society products which may be good for the society or good for let's say the employment of the nation for generating employment but not profitable will not be produced here only the goods and services which are profitable for the capitalist are produced and the services are rendered so it is profit oriented profit motive is the driving force the production facilities are owned and controlled by private individuals that is the capitalist the private individuals as i said own and control the factors of production production is owned and controlled by them now let's see what are the positives of a capitalist economy first freedom of enterprise in this type of economy in this approach of economy the owners the capitalists the entrepreneurs are free to do whatever business they want are free to choose whatever goods they want to produce are free uh, are free to render whatever services they want to render they have a freedom of enterprise there is nobody to restrict them there are no regulations or restrictions set by government second is freedom of choice by the consumer when the entrepreneurs get the freedom to produce what they want a variety of goods get produced this in result leads to freedom of choice to the consumers consumer consumers get a variety of goods to choose from they can consume whatever they want there is no restriction on consumption again the government here does not set any restriction on consumers it does not ban or disallow certain items which are not good the third point which is beneficial in a capitalist economy is competition now when you get freedom of enterprises everybody is free to run and own an enterprise everybody is free to manufacture the goods they want what happens is this leads to competition whoever wants to run any business whoever wants to produce any goods can produce so this leads to mass competition there is no restriction on it the fourth point which is a positive in a capitalist economy is production efficiency and innovation now please try to understand that you are free to produce what you want consumer is also free to consume what he wants there are no restrictions plus to add to this there is a lot of competition in the market 
everybody is trying to sell his product what happens is this brings a lot of production efficiency everybody is trying to reduce the cost everybody is trying to sell his product at a cheaper rate so production efficiency comes in the owners try to be productive the owners want their labor and the machines to be productive so they employ better machines so they employ skilled labor which yield them which give them a better yield which yield a better product again these things lead to innovation because the producer is always trying to be a market leader it wants to sell more the only way it can sell more and beat the competition is bring a new product in the market let's take an example of apple now apple is a company in us which is a capitalist company apple wants to increase its market share so what does it do it comes up with new products it came up with a ipod in early 2000s when people did not have facilities to hear music on the go apple gave them ipods then in mid to in mid 2000s apple gave them iphone which was cut above the rest it was a phone with great features new and innovative features which other companies didn't provide then it came up with ipad again it was a market leader so by innovating and bringing up a new product it was able to hold up to its market share not only hold it up but to increase it also so in a capitalist economy the producers are always trying to sell their products which makes them innovate which makes them make the products better however there are also some negatives in a capitalist economy those are inequalities of income and absence of social welfare as i said a capitalist economy is profit oriented the motive is profit it is the driving force so capitalists are people who have capital they put in their capital bring up an enterprise and earn profits but what about the persons who do not have capital there they cannot set up enterprises they cannot earn profits they cannot grow what this does is this leads to a gap between the rich and the poor poor people do not have access to resources but rich people get access to resources so they produce more sell more earn more but poor, but poor people can't afford these resources so the gap between them goes on increasing we can also say that there are inequalities in income there is a richer class and there is a poor class in inequalities of income and absence of social welfare as i mentioned earlier social welfare is a concept which is opposite of profit motive either you can be profit oriented or you can be a philanthropist you cannot be both at the same time either you can good either you can do good to the society or you can do good to yourself that is either you can earn profit or either you can do something which is good for the society now in a capitalist economy the capitalist produce those goods which are more profitable which give them more profit now those goods may not be necessarily needed in the society those goods may not be necessarily good for the society but they produce those goods because they are more profit yielding let's take an example of cigarettes cigarette is harmful for society but a capitalist would not mind producing a cigarette because it is more profitable or if the society or the nation wants more agricultural products but agricultural products do not yield that much profit 
so capitalists would always invest their money in industries setting up industries for goods which have a good scope of profit so social welfare is always absent in a capitalist economy finally it leads to creation of monopolies now in the positives i is mentioned that there is a freedom of enterprise which meant anybody can set up any industry any enterprise this leads to competition now i say capitalist economy also leads to creation of monopolies how are monopolies created because uh, there are some companies which are very big and they try to hold on to their market share and they want to increase their market share so what they do is go on purchasing the smaller companies go on purchasing the smaller enterprises so what it does is it creates a monopolistic status for them the best example for this is google google is a search engine giant it has created its monopoly uh, it has also purchased many search engines with smaller market share apple is one more example apple has created its monopoly in the us market however outside us market microsoft has created its monopoly coming to mobile phones samsung in the market outside us has created a monopoly while apple in us has created a monopoly so what happens is capitalist economy leads to creation of monopolies now let's see how a capitalist economy solves the four basic economic problems the first question is the first problem is what to produce and how it is answered by a capitalist economy capitalist economy says produce that good which is highly in demand which is demanded more which has maximum demand in the market the product that would have maximum demand in the market would lead to greater sales and greater amount of profit so a capitalist economy tells you produce a product which has more market which has a higher demand the second question how to produce now please understand that a capitalist economy always wants more profits the capitalist always want more profit so to earn more profits they tend to low cost techniques of production when the cost of the product is lower the profit automatically gets higher so they resort to low cost production techniques now please bear in mind that these techniques may not necessarily be good for the society but because they are low cost they reduce the cost and lead to a higher profit capitalist would always resort to low cost techniques third question is third problem is for whom to produce and how does a capitalist economy answer this question given solution to this problem is produce for those people who have a higher buying capacity higher buying capacity people with a higher buying capacity do not mind paying more for goods they do not mind expending more so you can charge a higher price for your product and earn more profits provision for economic growth how does a capitalist economy provide for future growth in an economist in a in a capitalist economy how can you grow there is only one method to grow by savings and investment route when you save and invest the saving you tend to grow 
when your income is rupees 100 and your expenses are rupees 80 you earn a profit of 20 now if you save the sum and do not expend it what happens is you tend to earn on this saved sum also let's say you invest this sum at a 10% of interest now what will happen is again in the next year you will have an income of 100 and expenses of 80 and profit of 20 but now your total income will be 20 plus 2 rupees on the money saved in the last year now you are earning more next year you will earn still more so every year your income will grow your assets will grow and this is the only route that capitalist economy tells you save and invest the last point what governs a capitalist economy how does a capitalist economy answer these questions it is by market mechanism or price mechanism a price or the market mechanism is a mechanism which is run by demand and supply demand and supply in the market give the solution to all the questions